Hello, welcome everyone. Today we are going to talk about expression changed after it was checked error. In interviews, I basically ask different type of question with different kind of experience that candidate brings in. For example, if a candidate is fresher or a beginner in Angular, I will simply ask about what is expression changed after it was checked error. If it was a little bit intermediate experience candidate, I would basically ask, tell me, how are the different ways where you can create that kind of error and how are the different ways how you can solve that error and if a person was really experienced i would basically add a small trick to it and ask okay don't you feel frustrated when it happens in production by the way this error cannot happen in production there is a side effect which happens if he is able to say so he's hired but if he's not he's rejected Let's go and find out how this error happens and learn something today. Before we begin, I want to apologize for the delay which I caused before we were making this video. It has been some time that I have created this kind of video and I am hopeful that I'll create more and thanks to you guys for supporting me throughout all this process. Your comments have actually kind of motivated me to again do it. Coming back to our topic, expression changed after it was checked error happens when basically in Angular you have changed some variable value after Angular has already created the template file. Like for example, you can see in our screen, we have an error shown here. Whenever we refresh our page, we can see this error is coming up. Expression has changed after it was checked error. This happens because we have bonded an ng if to our value that is loading has changed after Angular created that template. As you know, in Angular, we have a template file, which you can see right now. And then we have a code file. You can see it's about a code behind file. If you are from Visual Basic Era. <laughs> what Angular does is it tries to keep the code file values and template values always in sync. For that, it runs cycles. Now, this cycle can run many times in a second or can run for different factors. What happens is in each of the cycles that can be micro macro task or even user given input or any async operation which happened from server call or something like that. In each cycle, Angular goes through different phases with a template file and its, its code file. I'll just say code file for the sake of this video. When it goes through the cycles, you know the this stages of a cycle via name of lifecycle hook. We have ng on change, ng on init and a lot of things like that. In our case, there is a cycle stage called as after view in it. As you know, after view in it, as you can see in this image stage where it was making changes, making sure that our view file is almost similar to our code file. After view in it comes at last stage. Before that, Angular has already prepared the template file. It has already created the view. And then what you are doing is that at the end of it, you are basically saying I want, I am changing the value again. Now, if you think from Angular's point of view, this is a problem. He has created the view file and then you are changing the value. That's why this error comes up. This error cannot happen in production. Why is it happening in local system? First of all, it is happening in local file because Angular does a double check to find this kind of error. I mean, it has already done a cycle where it checked all of the values are matching or not. And then it did again and then it found out it is not matching. And that's why it throws the error in production. It doesn't do so. It doesn't check twice, it will check only once. So in production, it
there are different scenarios where this error can be shown but let's now figure out how to go around solving these kind of problems first let's start by understanding how we can debug the issue whenever this kind of issue happens whenever you see this error coming up in your browser one thing you can see on generally on fourth or fifth line or first line where you can see your html or other component you can see there is a app component or your component or your html file template file written in this stack trace so go ahead and click that in that case you will be directly taken to the line where you have attached some value it that value can be directly attached as a form of string interpolation which i have written here it can be attached inside ng if ng else uh, if else whatever it can be in any line so that is your first clue some value which you have attached in that html template line is creating problem that's where you begin to think about it then you go ahead in your code and try to see if this error is coming because you have basically changed the value after ng in it in, in later stages of angular checks or is it that some kind of async operation is calling this generally async operations if happen this problem will not happen but two cases where it generally happened in my real life scenarios is basically child component is triggering change in parent or you have written something in your ng after view in it or at basically a different life cycle hook which is happening after the expression or template file has been already created we have talked about how to debug it how to find the variable name which is getting changed now let's talk about fixing these issues right let's take first scenario in our in our case right i will make changes and bring up error in our first scenario so we can see that error is happening in our page obviously we can go to our html file and we see that this line is highlighted that error is coming from some variable which we have attached in this line so we have attached only loading so we found out okay this is our problem loading is our problem now let's go ahead to solve it there are two ways to solve it but let's first discuss the right way to solve it first of all if you are changing some value in a life cycle hook which is happening after template file was created try to move it in constructor or ng on in it if you are want to do something while initialization cycle in initialization cycle try to move into ng on changes ng on in it or uh, constructor so once you move it we don't have any error anymore congratulations now there is another way to solve this where we are the, in real world scenario sometimes it's not possible to always move variable declarations into into ng on it what to do then in that case let's see what is another way we, where we can solve this problem so we see that problem is solved what is happening here i have used something called as change detector ref in angular there is a way where you can force angular to detect changes so in this way what i am saying is even i have changed value at later stage of our life cycle hook i am saying angular to forcefully manually detect any more changes in this template file this way we can solve this error at least at this stage now consider there is a scenario even after using cd or maybe you are not able to use cd so change it to ref what to do if you want to solve the problem the easiest way and the most frowned upon way is this so you see that error is again solved but this time i have used something called as set timeout what set timeout would do is put this variable change into a different event loop macro this is a macro task there is something called as macro will go to that but this is a macro task and this line has now been put into a different cycle altogether angular also refreshes its view after every event loop or every macro tasks when it is executed so basically what we are saying in angular life cycle hook at later stage i want to change the value i am moving the value change into a different cycle altogether you are doing something like that there is another way to solve this let's go for that also 
so you see in this case also problem is resolved but we are using a slightly different thing earlier when we use set timeout it's a macro task when you are using promise this is a micro task macro tasks work with event loops micro tasks is finished after every event loop so in a broad term a, when you put a set timeout it's put in a completely different event loop when you use promise it is executed after this current event loop is completed and this promise is executed and still uh, angular also sees for every micro task change uh, sees that after all macro changes are done it will just run change detection so you don't see any error that value was changed after it was done these two changes set timeout and promise resolve is something which you should consider at very end this is something which is not which should not be done generally but it solves the problem whatsoever now the next problem was that we were sending information from child back to parent which was triggering an event change so in that those cases try to move loading actions or events handling into child itself you try to solve the problem or you want to update some view in ng or net of a child you should do that in child itself you should not try to send it to parent if that is not possible use a common service and then through that service you change the value in service and use that service in both parent and child to basically reflect the current value which is of the that of loading let's try to see that once so you see the error is solved when we use service common service where we are saving the state of our system so in service we save a variable loading we move our loading variable into service child also uses that service to update that value and then our html component also uses to so to work on that value so that is the second way where you can solve this problem so the last way where we saw this problem happening was by using random value where every time a getter property was called it had a different value altogether what to do then in that case try to remove getter property i would say and use a normal value random value here so let's see so in this case our random value is more predictable let try to make the values which you are using more predictable if it is changing many times put in specific point of your code it may be an ng on it after some subscribe or something like that where it is more predictable obviously it's not always easy to solve so you have the last two approaches manually causing manually triggering change detection or using set timeout or promise resolution that's all for today's video we went through lot of things in expression changed after it was checked error and try to reproduce it try to debug it and try to fix it if you find any other way or if you know any other way to solve this please put that in comment like this video if you found it useful subscribe to this channel if you want to follow for more content thank you have a nice day bye bye